you know, Frank, though, you, you talked about Robertson being mm -hmm. more comfortable in an eighth inning spot. So are you worried about this Phillies bullpen over the long haul then? Yes, I am, because this team is really polished. You watch this lineup one through one through nine. They can hurt you in any spot. Uh, they play great defense now. A uh, hiccup today with Reese Hodgson in first base, but he's better off at first base instead of the outfield. But I'm concerned about the eighth and ninth inning for the Phillies because they got a team that is capable of being there at the end. But if you don't get those outs consistently in the eighth and ninth, it just takes the air, sucks the air right out of, out of a team. And this team is built to win. They did a lot this offseason to win. They did not complete the puzzle. There's still one guy available. And I see three teams really getting after him. That'd be Mr. Craig Kimbrell, yes. D-Train. Oh, they got to order him up. I mean, <laughs> it, I mean, that, that water's starting to boil a little bit because they understand they have the lineup like Big Hurt said, but that's the one facet of their ball club that needs help. And they brought Robertson over here to be a veteran presence. He has struggled, and I agree a thousand percent with Big Hurt. I like him better in the seventh and eighth inning position. He seems to perform well. And if you get that nasty man Craig Kimbrell in the in the ninth, it's lights out. And now all of a sudden they are truly a World Series contending team that can go up against the upper echelon teams and represent the National League. I get that, and I agree with that. But what if the Nationals got Craig Kimbrell? Because mm. you look at their their bullpen has been awful so far. We talked about the Cubs bullpen. Mm -hmm. They've been worse. Their ERA is over 11. That's hard to do. Uh, it's really hard to do, okay? And look, we know about the starting pitching. It's great. You figure they're going to hit like they did today. Right. So if Craig Kimbrell, what's to say it's down to these two teams? You know there are other teams. But, Frank, if, if he signs one or the other, does that totally change your idea about what you feel for them in the postseason? It changes, like, four teams if he signs. Yeah. He'll change the Cubs. <laughs> Absolutely. He'll change the Red Sox. Right now, the Red Sox are reeling. Mm -hmm. They're missing their captain closer who's been shutting down games for them years. Don't tell me he's not missing that clubhouse. Right. You know, and then you talk about the Nationals and the Phillies. They both need him. I think Craig's sitting in a catbird seat right now because he's going to get a call soon and he's going to get the money he deserves. Craig's I, like, wait, everybody keep blowing game. I'm just going to sit back here. <laughs> bird, and... bird, <laughs> bird. Absolutely, yeah. But I like him better in Philly. Uh, the Washington Nationals still have some, some offensive woes. They still have injury woes, but I think he'll be most suited and, and, and better in Philadelphia. See if the phone rings. That's a scoop on today. Hey, the man, Phil he deserves it. And the National. He's sitting home. He's like, I agree with you. <laughs> now, I'm thinking, though, when you look at the bullpen, look, that was the strength of this team last year. We certainly saw it in the playoffs, they were simply fantastic. We've told you this year injuries, right? Canables out for the year. Jeffress was so big, he's out for don't know how long yet. So the bullpen this year has actually somehow been better. But the one thing I want to talk about is the number at the top, right, guys? So 3.2, 3.2. That's the innings per game that they're used. Look, a lot of teams go their bullpen early nowadays. Absolutely. But, if, but I'm just curious, Frank, with those injuries that I talked about, is mm -hmm. that sustainable for the Brewers? I mean, they proved it to us last year they can do it. Yeah. We're losing those two guys, they still, remember we said they had eight arms like we've never seen out of bullpen. They're down to six now. Mm -hmm. So they still can get the job done until they get some health or they make a trade and get another arm out there. I'm not going to question anything the Brewers are doing anymore. They're very unconventional. They showed us they can win being unconventional last year in the playoffs. And this team is, is something you're going to have to deal with all year long because of their pitching. But now they got a lineup that can bang with the best, too. So, yes, the Milwaukee Brewers are for real. I'm not going to question anything they're doing at this point. And, and this is their system, and this is how they know how to win. So they're training guys in the minor leagues. They have guys in the big leagues. They're going to need multiple guys to have 60 to 70 appearances total the whole year. So they know in the bullpen they're going to factor into the game every single day. So so there's no mindset for you to take a day off. You know that you're going to pitch. You know you're going to be hot. You know you might have to warm up a couple times. But if you go out there and win your matchup, whatever it may be, then you're going to win ball games. And they want to taste that champagne. They haven't tasted that champagne a lot, but they tasted it last year, and they want to get right back to it, and they have the squad to do formula it. formula works pretty well. Mm -hmm. right? And I think they are going to get some better start. Look, they're, not, they're never going to let somebody face uh, you know, a team three, three times through. They're just not going to do it. Right. But I think what you saw today, Peralta, Woodruff, Burns, if Jimmy Nelson comes back, I think you'll see more starts like that, don't you? Yeah, I like Jimmy Nelson coming back. He'll be right. big in that rotation because he's a big, strong kid. He'll be able to go deep in the ball games and then set their matchup up where guys don't have to get multiple outs or go multiple innings, excuse me. And that's the key. It's one thing to get up, but if they have to get six outs, then that's where the wear and tear is. And you saw a lot of those guys that they needed last year that, that went multiple innings, they're down this year. So that's something they need to keep an eye yeah, on. They're going to keep Josh Hader to one inning, so in the playoffs he could pitch nine innings a day. <laughs> that's the key. That's the goal. <laughs> that's, that's the goal for the Brewers yeah, right now. The they box keep... hot, KB. Hey, hey, Frank, <laughs> fire. Got... stay with it. They're 6-1.